Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily and I'm the owner of The Aesthetic Dollar. In today's video, I'm gonna be setting up my new Flexi Spot desk as well as giving you a tour of my shop. I think this is all the pieces. <laughs> I need to figure out which box to start with. I think this one because this is the legs. So this is a standing desk. I'm gonna tell you more about it like while I'm setting it up. Um, it's a standing desk and it can like move up and down. So I know I'm capable of doing this on my own. I just wish my husband was home. He's gone like literally all day today. If all else fails, I'm just gonna watch a YouTube video on how to set this thing up because that's what I always do. That's how I know I'm capable of doing just about anything. You wanna learn how to start a business? Look it up on YouTube. Wanna find out how to screw in a light bulb? <laughs> look it up on YouTube. So if I get to a place where I'm like, I don't know how to do this, I'm going to look it up on YouTube. So I'm just going to like dive in and start taking the pieces out. I think I'm going to start with this though, because this is the like base of the desk and it makes sense to me to start with like the base of the desk. I knew I needed more counter space a long time ago. And so I was starting to look into like things from Ikea, but FlexiSpot actually reached out to me and asked if I would do a review on this desk. And then I'm like, well, I've never heard of FlexiSpot. And so I did a poll on Instagram asking for suggestions for standing desks. And literally everyone, everyone was like FlexiSpot. And I was like, okay. So I just want to like thank FlexiSpot for asking me to do this in the first place. There are instructions, which I'm really excited about. I can follow instructions, kind of. These instructions are actually laid out really, really well. I think I'm gonna be able to figure it out. So I'm gonna start just by taking out all the pieces first. I feel like I can set up a cube organizer without following the instructions at this point, so. I can think I can figure this out. And you guys, these are like really nice, kind of heavy. This box was really heavy when it came. I had to have my husband carry it downstairs because it was so heavy. So nice and heavy duty, which is good. Oh, this is the part that's really heavy. It's a lot of hardware. We can do this, friends. I can do this. Oh, this is nice. It's labeled. The exact desk that I'm setting up right now is the FlexiSpot standard standing desk E1 and it does come with some optional accessories which I'm going to show you in a little bit. The one thing I really like about this desk is the price. I would never recommend something that I wouldn't spend my own money on. Another thing I was really impressed with was this bamboo desktop. It's environmentally friendly but it's also durable which is really important to me because I have four kids under the age of eight. I'm so grateful to finally be creating a comfortable and productive workspace, and I highly recommend that you do the same. So make sure you check out my link in the description box. Okay, so I'm pretty sure my husband took his drill to work with him today. So I went to the neighbor's house and borrowed theirs. They are amazing. I will say that we are so blessed. We have the best neighbors in the world. So like when we bought this house, we only planned on staying here for a little while. And then all of our neighbors like have kids that are the same age and yeah. It's awesome. So, okay, I'm going to attempt to drill all of these in. So, I have all of the like screws and all of that and now I'm on the last step, which is to install the power cord. Overall, I mean, this desk was not hard to set up at all. All of this stuff back here are the accessories they sent me. I just wanted to show you really quick how cool this desk is and I'm really proud of myself because it's working, which is exciting. So this desk, you can adjust it by just pushing a button. Like how cool is that? And then it can go back down too. So I'm really excited about this because sometimes I like to sit when I'm on my computer and then, um, but a lot of times I'm standing up when I'm working. So this is so perfect. Thank you so much, FlexiSpot. And for everyone on Instagram who suggested this standing desk, I'm really excited to get the accessories set up. I'm like in love with it. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna open up the rest of these boxes and I actually think I want this desk a little higher. All right, so it looks like this is 
you can't see it's covered up. It says management tray. It's like it can hook up like underneath the desk. And then this can connect to the desk, a power strip. So you can like connect it to the desk. That is super nice. Oh, this is nice. I really wanted this accessory. So this is the drawer that you can connect to it. So that'll be really nice for some storage. Okay, so this one is a computer riser. So it just sits up like this, which is like the perfect height. And then obviously the desk can go up and down too. Oh my gosh, okay, I'm so excited. When I got sick of sitting, I decided to raise the desk and I love that I can do it easily by pushing a button or I can preset buttons. So all I have to do is press that button and it will automatically go to my preset height. So I'm going to give you guys a tour of my shop, AKA my office. I will say though that first I need to clean up a little bit because I've been working on all of the things for my spring launch and restock. And so I just have like piles of things that I'm working on all over. I've gotten a bunch of shipments in the last couple of days that I need to unpack and go through. And I just really need to clean up this office because I feel better and work better with a clean space. So I'm gonna clean up and then I'm gonna give you guys a tour of my shop. And I gotta show you guys my sweatshirt. So this is my cousin's YouTube channel. Channel. It's called Kyle's Cabin. He built a cabin up north in northern Minnesota off grid and he just like documents his life on this YouTube channel. It's super cool. Like his channel is huge. So definitely go check it out if you're into that kind of thing. But I love watching his videos. I think they're super cool. And I got this sweatshirt for my birthday. It's like my favorite cozy sweatshirt to wear around the house. So anyway, I'm going to get to cleaning up my office and then I'm going to give you guys a tour of everything. Target and they're super cute. They were $5 and they were from the dollar section. So I don't think I can link them, but that's where I found these not long ago, like last week. So I think what I'm going to do, I have three of these. I'll probably need two, but I have two boxes here of these color slip sticky notes and I need to package these up yet. But I think once I package them up, I'm going to store them in here. My supplies for this don't come till tomorrow. So I think I'm just going to leave this box here so that I know that I need to get these packaged up for the launch and restock. As you can see, I do a lot of things on the floor. Sometimes it's just easier. I stand a lot when I make envelopes and placeholders and hole punch things and package things. I'm usually standing, so when I'm doing stuff like this, it's nice to sit. So I now have 500 sheets of this laminating paper. This is the frosted laminating paper. And then I have 800 sheets of the glossy laminating paper. I usually have more glossy on hand because that's what I make savings challenges with. I got two more of these and I actually have more laminating paper coming but this will be good to get me started with things that I'm making for the launch so these are the clear binders 
and I think these are the gold. And so I usually don't take them out of the bubble wrap stuff until I'm gonna package them up and then I inspect them and make sure that they're good to go before I place them in an order. But I like having them in here because it keeps these protected. So this is my first round of these and then I have more coming. I just need to figure out a place to store these and that's like the constant battle. So these bigger ones are the A5s and I have a bunch more of these coming too. These are really hard to find. I have a manufacturer that I get them from, but they don't always have them in stocks. I have a lot more of these coming. These actually came in the mail like a week and a half ago. I just haven't put them away yet. I just need to like figure out a good system for all of this. And I think I have it figured out, but I'm gonna put this stuff away and then I'm gonna give you guys a tour of everything. All right, so we're just gonna do a full 360 around my office here. This corner right here isn't much. And then over here is what I like to call my shipping station. So I have my packing stickers that I use. This right here is what I use to organize my freebies and things that I send in packages. I have some cello bags in here, the eight by tens, the nine by sixes. I keep all my thank you cards right here and I'm running low. I did order some new ones for this launch, which I'm excited about. And then my complimentary placeholders. So these are freebies. I get asked all the time in my reels if these are real $100 bills. They're not, but they do look really real. I have three corner rounders because I'm always afraid one of them is gonna crap out on me. So I always like to keep them on reserve because I do corner round my placeholders. And then these, um, these I send with certain bundles. So these are just little insert sleeves for the A6 binders. And then opening the cabinet here, this is gonna look pretty empty because I'm working on refilling my inventory right now. So this is where I keep my monthly savings challenge bundles. Next to that is where I keep my holiday sinking fund bundles and I already have some of those made and then these are the starter bundles right here and then these are the a7 bundles which I have started working on so this is the frosted version and I have both the cursive and the classic in here so these are just about done I have some more frosted ones to make and then I'm gonna start on the glossy and then this is where I keep my placeholders and I'm completely out of 1,500 so I need to make a ton of those but then I also have 5,000 10,000 and $20,000 placeholders. This is where I keep all of my budget binders and I've started hole punching those. I have three done so far. So I have to go through and hole punch all of those by hand because the place that I get them printed does not offer hole punching services. This is where I keep my envelopes for my savings challenge bundle. So I have more of those coming so I can pre-package those up. And then this is kind of empty space right now, but I'm sure I'll find a use for it. And then we can go down here to this cabinet. This is my shipping cabinet so I have boxes and bubble mailers and then I do keep some of my binders down here as well so I use these for shipping and I have all different sizes for different products I just really want products to get to people the way that I ship them I don't want them to be damaged so I do use those and then moving along over here so this plant is from Target this white thing here is from Target this was from the dollar section and then this is also from Target and it's my favorite it's the canvas so I like to just spray that when I first come into my office so that it's it's like enjoyable and smells good. These are my old design of placeholders. They're just like super thick. So I'm going to be selling those when I do my clearance. And then these are all placeholders that are like imperfect. So they have, you know, maybe like a black dot on them or something's not right. And then I have my printer here. This is my Office Jet Pro 8025E. So I use this for just a lot of regular printing and I absolutely love it. Highly recommend this printer. It's so good. Okay. And then down here is where I usually keep my boxes. I need to make way more than that, but I usually pre-make my boxes before a launch or a restock and then here's where I set up my desk which you guys already saw I'm absolutely loving the setup here so these are the savings challenges that I'm working on right now and then this is my planner I don't know if I've ever showed this to you guys but I'm obsessed with cloth and paper and so I do have a cloth and paper planner I do have some infinite lotus things in here too but yeah I'm absolutely obsessed with it and then down in this drawer I and paper you guys i just keep some of my favorite sharpie pens and um this pen i also got from cloth and paper and i absolutely love it so yeah I, I like to keep all that stuff in this drawer because these are things that i use semi often and then i just have my computer up here so i usually keep this desk pretty cleaned off just because i do use it as like a working station so okay and then moving over here this is my built-in standing desk that i've had since i've had this office um so this is my what i use for my labels it's the label range LP620 label printer. I absolutely love it. And then 
just my setup right here. This is usually where I've been keeping things that I'm working on. And then if I just have a couple packages to send out, I will put them in this basket right here. So those need to go to the post office today. This is my printer. I like need to figure out, I've got like a really bad cord situation going on over here. So we need to get that figured out because it really bugs me. But so this is my printer. It is a LaserJet Pro M203DW. I love HP, I have HP everything. Um, this is the toner for the printer. So I just have an extra one on hand. And then I have these glossy laminating pouches and then these are the mat. And then I did just put some away in here, but I can only fit three in here. So that's okay though, because these are all going to get used up in the next four days anyway. So, but yeah, that's basically it.